in a previous module we mentioned of uh, an islamic fintech firm called yielders yielders is uh, an islamic fintech specializing in property investment investment in property is a bulky investment i live in london if i want to invest in property by way of buying a house for letting purposes probably i need something like 700000 pounds in many cases having 700000 pounds as cash may not be possible of course there are some individuals they can buy a lot of properties of this price and size because they have got money but a lot of people they don't have that kind of cash hence this company yielders it came up with an idea of allowing general public to invest in property in such a way that even if they have small amount even 100 pounds to invest they could so this investment manager was actually yielders so investment manager set up a crowd funding platform so this is an example of an islamic fintech specializing in property investment so this is a property fund example as well so this crowd funding platform would offer individuals investors 1 2 3 n 1000 investors 500 investors 20000 investors whatever be the number so this crowd funding platform would offer an opportunity to investors to invest small relatively small amounts of money into this platform the money could be the minimum could be 100 pounds but this can go up to 1 million if you want to invest normally someone would not put 1 million using a crowd funding platform but this could be 10000 this could be 5000 this could be 1000 investment manager would use this money to buy properties property 1 property 2 property 3 and so on so wherever it would find an opportunity to invest in a property it would buy now the investors would like to have uh, return in the form of frequent monthly or quarterly returns and of course at the end they would like to benefit from the capital gain ie the profit which someone gets when they sell a house the difference between purchase price and the sale price that is called capital gain now in order to give frequent returns to these investors investment manager actually rents in the properties in the portfolio so first it rents in it rents for itself and gives rental r to the portfolio that rental is actually frequently distributed amongst these investors on say a quarterly basis so these properties are held by the investment manager in the form of a fund until the investment manager finds good opportunities to sell for example if this property was bought for 100k gbp 100 pounds and this property was kept in the portfolio for one year after one year the investment manager gets a proposal from someone to buy this property for 140000 pounds so at that time the property would be sold and the proceeds would be given to the investors in accordance with their investment shares and this could be done for this property two property three and if in certain cases investors agree once this one property is sold for profit then another property could be bought using that amount of money so that 
whenever there is an opportunity, that opportunity would be taken up by the investment manager on behalf of these investors.